Hello dear friends, Ray Kunetra is with you, and today I decided to make a short video and talk about the strongest titans in the War Robots game. I must say right away that everything said in this video is my subjective opinion. I have played about 4000 fights in War Robots over the past 6 months, and in many respects my opinion was formed on the basis of what I myself played and whom I met in battles. Therefore, if you don't agree with my opinion, then do not put a dislike. It is better to write your top 5 titans in the comments. I will be interested to know your opinion. Well, let's get started. The first titan in this top is Rook. It immediately became clear that the titan would become one of the strongest in the game. This is largely due to its durability, shields, as well as the ability which repair all broken shields. Of course, the robot's durability is offset by its low speed, but it also has an ability that allows the Titan to fly up and close the distance to the enemy very quickly. Because of this, Titan is best played at close range, which is why I recommend melee guns. Personally, I am currently playing with sonic weapons, and they perform great. In general, Rook Titan is very good right now. The second Titan is Luchador. I can say that this is a slightly outdated version of the Rook Titan, since the robots are very similar. They have the same firepower, both have a lot of durability, and also the ability to close the distance to opponents is very similar. The only difference is in type of shields, and if Rook has physical shields, then Luchador has a force field shield, which makes the robot invulnerable for a few seconds. Well, it is also best to put guns on the Luchador for close range. Sonic weapons are optimal now, but Vajra guns will also work. In general, Luchador is also very good. The third titan in this top is Indra. And to be honest, I personally do not really like this titan. It doesn't have any kind of shield and the essence of the game is that for a few seconds the titan can go into a mode where no one can damage the titan. It is this ability of Indra that allows the Titan to wait for the right moment and then quickly dismantle the opponent's robot or Titan and then go back to this mode. This style of play is not for me, but Titan is very popular in the high leagues right now, and I often see people doing several living legends in a row. Therefore, although I don't like Titan, it is also very good. We go further and the next Titan is Sirius. I must say right away that it is useless to compare it with other titans from this top. In a one-on-one -on -one meeting it will lose to any of them. But the essence of the titan is in its ability, and it allows you to shoot a turret that restores the great strength of Elliot robots. Now this is the top 1 titan for healing in the game, and I can safely say that this is the best medic in the game. But it is best to play with it when you play with friends or with clan members. Then, thanks to a well-coordinated game, you can easily win battles. Well, when you play with random players, there will not be much benefit, because most will simply ignore you. Therefore, Titan is very good, but only under certain conditions. The last Titan in the top is Nodons. And to be honest, this is one of my favorite Titans. Yes, it has less healing than Sirius, but it is good for its versatility. It has a lot of strength and good firepower, and it can heal Elias. So lately I have only played it. I put 4 war guns on my Nodons, and this combination works great. I even made a video about such an assembly on my channel. In general, Nodons is also very good. Well friends, that's all that I wanted to tell you about today. Thank you all very much for watching, and please, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. It is very important for me. Well, Ray Kunetra was with you. Goodbye, everyone.